This is Windows 11. Yes, actually, this is Windows 11. Stick around, guys. I'm going to show you how you can transform your Windows 11 into Mac OS in a few easy steps. All right, before we dive in, guys, just a quick note. This is a virtual machine, so I went ahead and created a snapshot. I recommend you do the same just in case you want to revert. If you're on a physical machine and not a VM, no worries. Just create yourself a restore point. This step is obviously optional, but if you don't like it at the end of the day or you need to revert back, yeah, you can rip everything out and change your settings back, but a restore point or a snapshot is just going to make that way easier. All right, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, check the description guys everything that I all these URLs and things that I download will all be linked in the description So don't worry about jotting these down. Let's go ahead and grab a cool wallpaper first and we'll just change that uh, This is the one that I'm gonna use uh, But there's a whole bunch of cool Apple ones here. If you just go to this link This is 4k wallpapers.com. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this guy in 4k And we will open this up and we will just set this as the wallpaper. All right, now that we have a Apple themed wallpaper, let's go ahead and install Nexus Dock. Again, link in the description, guys, so don't worry about it. So we will just go ahead and download the free version of this. Once that's done, go ahead and extract all the files here. And then you can run the Nexus setup. We'll just click through this. We don't need to launch it yet, so we'll uncheck that. We're actually going to download some customization for it. All right, now that Nexus Docs installed, let's go ahead and download our customization theme. So again, links in the description, guys. So just go ahead and download this. Once that's done, let's go ahead and extract it. Put it wherever you want. We'll just put mine on the desktop. Okay, now that that's done, let's go ahead and launch our Nexus dock. Let's click on the Nexus icon. Let's go to the Advanced tab. And then you're going to do a Restore. And then go to that folder you extracted your Mac OS customization to. So in my case, Desktop, Mac OS Customization, Dock, and then I'm going to do the WSBackup.WBK. Hit OK. All right. So now we have that in place. All right. So you notice the icons are all question marks. So we need to go ahead and load those. So probably should have done that first, but that's all right. So let's go ahead and exit this. And then what we need to do is come in here and grab our dock icons. So let's just copy this and we're going to put it on the root of the C. And then let's fire back up the Nexus dock. And there we are. Now we have our beautiful Mac OS themed icons. All right, so next up, we're gonna install Rain Meter. Link is in the description, guys. So just go ahead and download that. Once that's done, install it. And this will run by default. What you're going to want to do is unpack these or unload these skins. I mean, so let's go ahead and unload all these. All right. All right, let's work on the menu bar next. So again, link in the description. We're going to use drop top four for this. So just head over there and download it. Get the free one. I mean, that's what I'm using anyway. If you want to buy one, that's fine.
All right, once that's done, let's go ahead and look at that in the folder and we will run it. Go ahead and click install. All right, click continue. Select your language here, guys. So I'll take a second. There we go. All right, so I am in the United States English, but pick whatever you're using, obviously. So this is just the uh, appearance. So how would you like drop top to appear? You can do auto hide, you can do always show drop top. I'm gonna do desktop only. So drop top will be visible when viewing the desktop and will be unavailable when windows are maximized. So that's up to you. If you like it to be up there no matter what, even if you have windows maximized, go for it. Since I'm on a desktop, I'm gonna select desktop. Um, if you wanna do a weather location, feel free to pl uh, plug that in. If you wanna do Celsius for your degrees, feel free to plug that in as well. All right, so we're gonna select the Apple icon in this case. You could do the classic one if you want, that's kind of fun, but I'm just gonna do the standard Mac logo there. And then I'm gonna do standard here as well. We may have to change this because I am running 4K, but let's see what it looks like. Okay, this is up to you guys again. You can use the default, you can use the color match. I'm gonna do Ventura OS for this. And again, optional, but I'm gonna say maybe later. And we're all done. Give this a second, it should load up our nice little bar. There we go. So this is obviously really uh, small. Again, I'm running 4K, so I'm gonna have to change this. I think it's under five settings, and I'm gonna go XL2. I think that's okay for me. You can obviously adjust that to your liking, uh, but I'm gonna leave mine at XL2 because I am running a 4K setup here. So if you wanna customize this or change the theme or anything, just click on the little Apple icon here and you can see set home icon. You can do different themes. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here. They've got Snow Leopard, Minimalist, all kinds of cool stuff. So feel free to play around with all that guys. Just remember what settings you have or maybe take a snapshot or a system restore point so that you can go back. But yeah, I encourage you guys to play around with this. Obviously you can customize it, make it look a lot different, make it your own. Um, and the next thing we're gonna do, you probably see this overlaid on top of the recycle bin icon in this case. It looks cleaner anyway, guys. We're just gonna go here and we're gonna go to view. If we, I'm sorry, if we right click the desktop, we go to view, we're gonna hide those desktop icons. So we're gonna uncheck show desktop icons. All right, so I think it also makes sense to hide the taskbar in this case. So let's right click on the taskbar and go to taskbar settings. And you're gonna to wanna to go to taskbar behavior and you're gonna say automatically hide the taskbar. Did we not apply that? Let's check. Yeah, we did. So it's just gonna pop up for a second there guys and then it will go away. So it should be saved. Yep. There you go. We're starting to look a little more like a Mac. All right, let's work on the clock now. So we're gonna download a Rainmaker skin from Omino. Link in the description, guys, so don't worry about it. Go ahead and click download. Let's go ahead and get the light, I'm sorry, let's get the full version zip. Wait for that to download. All right, go ahead and open that in the folder and extract it. And you're gonna wanna run this rain meter skin installer. So run that file, double click it. Go ahead and uncheck apply included layout and click install. All 
All right, now let's launch Rainmaker. So to do that, you gotta unhide your taskbar, click on your little arrow here, and then launch Rainmaker. Drop down your WP7 folder, click on your launcher.ini, and then go ahead and click Load. You can close that out. That should give you a little plus symbol up here. Go ahead and drag that uh, anywhere you like. I like to put mine over here on the right. And then we're just gonna click on this. Oops, sorry, we're gonna click on that to open it. We're gonna move this down here. And then we're gonna go to text items. And we're gonna go ahead and add a clock news. There you go. So you can close this window out and adjust your clock to wherever you'd like it. You can do several adjustments to this. I'll show you guys one. Again, running a 4K monitor, sometimes, sometimes things are just small. Um, so you can go here, right click it, say item settings. And then we'll just drag, I'll do an extreme example, drag it all the way over. Make sure you hit that checkbox though. And that'll make that clock nice and huge for you. A little too big for me, so I'm going to go ahead and make this somewhere in the middle. Eh, that's good enough for now. All right, guys, that's how you make your Windows PC look just like a Mac OS machine. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting the thumbs up button, drop a comment, and subscribe to the channel. And hey, if you want to share this with your friends, I encourage you to do so as well. Did want to give a quick shout out to a fellow YouTuber, The Tech Vegas. Uh, I did follow his instructions here, more or less. Uh, I did modify it quite a bit as far as order of operations and things like that and the way that I describe things. But yeah, shout out to The Tech Vegas. There's a ton of videos on YouTube on how to do this. Um, I thought it was very interesting, so I wanted to make one myself. And there's different ones that look different. So you follow these different guys' videos and you can have a different Mac OS layout. And also just modify the settings in the applications that we installed here, those being Rain Meter and the Nexus Dock. And you can really change this up a lot. Like I showed you guys, you come here and you just do something as simple as changing the theme, right? That'll make a ton of difference. And something as simple as just changing the wallpaper out as well. That's gonna really make this your own. So I encourage you to run with it. Now, if you guys hate this, if hopefully you were listening to the beginning of the video, I said create a system restore point. Or if you're running a virtual machine like I am, take a snapshot. Easiest thing to do is just revert to that point, right? Whether it be a restore point or a, or a snapshot on a VM. If not, it's not the end of the world. Really all you need to do is rip out Rainmaker and rip out Nexus Dock, and it should be pretty much back to the uh, original Windows 11 theme that you had going before this. Let me know what you guys think. Did you like the video? Don't forget to hit the thumbs up, subscribe, leave me a comment, share it with your friends. Until the next one, take care guys. Have a great day.